Hey what's up everyone, this is Abed from Metabase and in this video I will show you how to query data using the query builder. Well in Metabase we refer it as asking question because you have a probably business question that you need an answer for. And asking question in Metabase is like building with blocks. You start by selecting your data, then you can apply a filter, and then you can aggregate it where we call it summarization. You can also use other blocks like sorting, custom columns, and joining data. Now all these blocks that you can see can be combined in any order and can be used multiple times within a single question. And this is the beauty of the query builder. Let me tell you an example. You might start filtering your data, then summarize it, join it with a different table, apply a summary to the joined data, and finish with another filter. Each step that you can see builds on the result of the previous one. Now in this video, we will only focus on the basic operations, filtering and summarizing. And now let me show you how it's done in Metabase. Here we are on the Metabase homepage. In the top right corner, press on the new button and select question. Metabase will ask you to pick your data. You can choose it from recently opened data or models or tables from your databases or even previously saved questions. Note that you might not see all these options due to admin permissions. For this example, I will choose tables and select the product table that you can find it in our sample database. Now, this is the query builder where you can use all the blocks we mentioned earlier. With our data selected, you can preview our table by clicking on the triangle button on the right, and you can use this button at each step to see how your data is changing. Now, our question is how much is the total sales price for each product category over the past three months? First, we need to filter our data. Let's close the preview press on the filter and here you can select the column that you want to filter. You can also apply custom expressions which we will cover in a different video. Let's select the creation time and choose the last three months. Now we want to sum the price of the product and then break out this number by product category. When you click on summarize, a list of options in the basic metrics menu will appear, which you can use to aggregate and analyze your data. For this example, we will choose sum of and select the price since we need to calculate the total sales and then group it by category column. Press on visualize and Metabase will calculate the results for us and choose the most appropriate visualization, which is a bar chart. You can switch to a table view from here and you can sort the results if you click on the heading of sum of price and choose descending order. Now, if you go back to the visualization, you will see the chart is now sorted. You can edit the chart by pressing on the settings icon here. You can also change the visualization by pressing on visualization. For example, let's select row chart. And if you want to see the list of product from one of these category, simply click one of the bars and select see this products. Now we have the table of the products. You will notice that Metabase applies a filter on that category. Let's go back and take a look at the query builder. You can open it from here. You can add more filters or summaries to your data by pressing on the plus button next to them. And if you want to apply a filter to your summarized data, you need to press on the filter button down here. You will see a new filter block that has been added. And you can see only two columns, category and sum of price, since these are coming from the aggregated data. For example, let's filter our sum of price to be greater than 200. You can see that we have only two categories fit in this range. And that's it. Now you know how to ask a question in Metabase. It's easy and straightforward. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.